Greetings RC fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage for this another speed run video. And what have we got up today? Well, um, two vehicles that have been on the channel before, um, both not for a long while. On the left hand side of the screen is the TTRC Sport PUBG two uh, wheel drive single seater buggy. Um, it's a 112 scale. It's running a brushed 350 motor. It has a stock 850 milliamp hour lithium iron 7.4 volt 2S. And I think we last saw it out in the sand. I can't remember when we last saw this. I've already filmed a video of this, which will come out next week or the week after of this skate park. Um, I don't know whether we have taken it to skate park before or not, but um, I have done some repairs after it took a chunk out of my finger that you'll see happening that video. So this is a WL Toys 144001, um, which has is a 114th scale buggy. It has got uh, a 2S LiPo. The ones that you get these days come with a lithium iron. So we're going to run it with a lithium iron and a LiPo. I do know that some of these can run a 3S. And I believe that my brother Phil uh, Tom Lee RC ran a stock one of these brushlet, uh, brushed with uh, a 3S LiPo and got 41 mile per hour, uh, 66 kilometers an hour. Box speed on this one is 60 kilometers an hour, which is 37 miles per hour on a 2S LiPo. Today, we're gonna run it on um, lithium iron and on LiPo. Likewise, the buggy, we're gonna run it on uh, lithium iron. And then by using some converters and the smallest uh, 2S pack I got, because the battery tray in the bottom of that is not very big. I'm going to run this on lithium iron and on um, LiPo. So we've got 112 scale, 114 scale, speed runs. Before we get into that, don't forget to do the usual things. Like, comment and subscribe. Right, because of how cold it is out here today, I have left the two LiPo batteries inside. I'm going to do the two runs with the uh, PUBG buggy and then I'll do the two runs with the WL toys. Um, we'll give this a run. This is on the lithium iron. That's flat. Flat again. And this is a brush 350 on 2S lithium iron. This is another one that I forgot how fun this is. Problem is that the battery tray is so small but I've had a little bit of an issue finding the battery. Right, let's have a look at that. So that is 11 miles per hour. I'll back that up off camera um, and then come back to you. Right, I backed it up off, off camera. That was 10 mile an hour. Um, I've now got the LiPo battery in. Um, we'll see how we do on this one. Seems to have more punch off the line. I may have to get some more batteries for this because this is so much fun. It's tracking nice and straight. Even though it's got a leaf stuck under the back of it at the minute. Get the leaf out from under it. 
I don't know whether that extra weight um, from the uh, GPS being on the front is helping because it's not lifting the front end as much. Because if I come onto the corner thing and then punch it, you see it lifts and then settles. bring it in and see how we did and that's backed up with 11 mile an hour on lipo but it's definitely got more punch i will give that a run off camera and see what happens and if there's any different i'll come back to you when i talk about the 144 Right, now we're on to the 144-001 and there's a reason I did the PUBG one first, it's to get my driving level up to scratch because this thing is rapid. It's fully turned up on the handset here. It's uh, starting off running it on lithium iron, which is what if you buy one these days it comes with. Um, it has got the LC Racing wing on the back, which gives it a little bit more stability. I don't know whether I've got enough space to get it fully up to speed in here, we will find out. Um, we're going to give it a run around on this, hopefully we'll get a decent speed run out of it, hopefully I'll be able to do it without crashing it, and then after that we'll run it on LiPo and see if we've got a difference. Couldn't get it flat. flat I have to make sure I um, slow it down before I, st I try and stop with it see how we did so that's 24 mile an hour on lithium iron I will try and back that up off camera and then come back with the lipo runs so off camera um, I got 25 mile an hour on the lithium iron now we've switched over to the lipo battery um, and we'll see how that does
starting to get a bit of a dew falling. Which is meaning it's a little bit slick out here. Why? Oh, just lost the GPS meter. Um, I'll go and recover it and then come back to you. Right, just uh, reconnected the GPS. We'll do two more passes and then we'll see how we do. Right, 28 mile an hour. I'll see whether I can back that up off camera. Well, we're back in the warm and that was interesting. Um, I need to do more stuff with this. What would you like to see me do with this PUBG buggy? Obviously I'll take these off the front. Um, it's only on spring dampers, but with that brush 350 motor in, it's so controllable. It has only got an 850 milliamp hour uh, run. The other battery didn't give it any faster speed. So it was 11 mile per hour on lithium iron and it was 11 mile per hour on LiPo. But I may try and get hold of a smaller dimensioned LiPo that will fit in on a straight Dean's connector so that we're not losing anything through the connection system I had to use and give that another run out but let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see with that as far as the um wl toys well it wasn't the box claimed 37 mile an hour 60 kilometers an hour but that could be the temperatures because it is cold out there i mean we were down to minus three last night when i got home um temperatures at the now i would say are getting down to around freezing out there uh, the dew was starting to fall which is why we're losing a little bit of the control there um, but I did manage to get 28 mile per hour out of it on lipo and 25 mile an hour on the lithium ion so this lipo pack that came with it because um, this is a version one one the difference between the version one and the version two the version one has a separate switch for the ESC, the version two has a um, switch on the ESC. So this is a version one. I've had it a long time. Um, I think the last video I did on this was like two years ago. Um, I did film at the skate park with it, um, which you'll see in the coming weeks. What else would you like to see with that? I mean, I may be able to take it to a buggy track at some point. Um, I would like to try and take it out in the field and give it some flat out and bash. Maybe try a jump video like I did with the Rockatan. Um, again, down in the comments section, let me know what you'd like to see with this and anything else you'd like to see me do with this. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, we'll catch you all again next week. So the final results, PUBG, 11 mile per hour on lithium iron, 11 mile per hour on LiPo. This one, 25 mile per hour on lithium iron and 28 mile per hour on lipo although we could try running it 3s mm. let me know if you'd like to see me try and run it on 3s um i might do that when i run the larocca tank because the larocca tan runs on 3s and that is an absolute monster and we haven't speed run that either so that's coming up um i'm going to run through the whole of the fleet and do speed runs with everything i think the next set of speed runs i'll probably do a wpl d12 and a wpl b16 both running um 2s uh lithium iron um i might throw something else in there to make sure that there's, there's more runs and stuff because they're not going to be exactly fast but wpl are bringing a c chassis d chassis crossover so i'm guessing that it's going to be a c chassis body onto a D chassis um, two wheel drive, rear wheel drive, drift setup. So we'll see what happens with that. Thanks very much. Catch you all again soon. Bye for now.